Hey everyone, it's Pastor Tony over at Grace Fellowship Church again. I was having a few problems with uh, the connection, so it disconnected us a minute ago. So let me um, go over this devotional uh, again. I don't want to allow the devil to steal this word. I believe it's a powerful word for each one listening right now. The title of the devotional is A New Day. God is leading us into a new place, uh, making this a new day. What worked days ago or years ago isn't working now. So I want you to just keep that in mind as we go into the scriptures. And in Matthew 9, 16, it says, No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. Neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine skin, new wine into new wine skins, and both are preserved. And what this was talking about is the Pharisees came to Jesus, asking him, "Why um, isn't your disciples fasting like ours, our people are?" And the thing about the Pharisees, they were caught up in all the rules and regulations. You know, they lived under the law. The old covenant is the law. The new covenant is grace that we live under right now as we accept Jesus. And the thing about the Pharisees was they wanted Jesus to be bound up like they were. They wanted him to follow, as I said, the rules and regulations that didn't have the power as grace does. And, you know, Jesus, when he came on this earth, he, um, you know, he worked outside the systems. You know, what they were doing, the Pharisees were doing, they expected other people to do exactly what they told them to do. Well, Jesus came on an assignment from the Father to bring forth grace, that new covenant, and wanted us to be, they wanted us to come out of this a place of being all bound up and come into a place of freedom. The Lord wants you to be in this place of freedom. And again, what the Lord may have done on your behalf uh, yesterday or a few days ago or a few weeks or a few years, he may not do it the exact same way. And just because he's not going to do it or he's not doing it the same way, sometimes we give up or we he does things that blow our mind, that goes above and beyond all that we could imagine. But his ways are so much better than our ways. Let me read another scripture in Isaiah 43, 18. Forget the former things, do not dwell. See, I'm doing a new thing. Sorry about that. Let me read it again. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And so he's telling us with this scripture is that he's doing a new thing. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on what he did before. Look to what he wants to do now in your life. Amen. And then it goes on in Luke twenty two twenty. It says in the same way, after the supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. And so even as we quote the scripture during uh, communion, he, Jesus here is sharing with his disciples at the Last Supper that his blood being poured out, the juice represented his blood, and that represents a new covenant, a new thing. Jesus came, uh, he came to fulfill the law. He's bringing grace so that we can live under the grace and not under the law. And so I'm here to encourage you today, let go of the past. The Bible says when we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior, we become new creation, a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old us passes away and the new us comes forth. So you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old you passed away. So the old wineskin, you can't sew these old patches, so to speak, on this new wineskin. You can't do expect God to move like he did in the old ways when he's doing something new. Amen. So let me pray for you right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each one listening right now, that this is a word to encourage them to keep on keeping on. Forget the former things. 
uh, look to the new thing. Look to what Jesus is doing now. The Bible says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So right now, you have faith for now. You're believing God for now and into the future. You're believing that he's going to do a certain thing today and then moving on. So remember that. Don't give up but to you know, stand firm in your faith. So Lord, I thank you for touching each person right now and encouraging them to keep on keeping on. So I give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.